What's up YouTube? Brandon Relcom here today with a new YouTube video. In this video I'm going to be showcasing my cassette tape collection for August of 2021. During this video I'm going to be playing Iron Man The Passage on my CD player in the background. Um, very underappreciated doom metal band out of Maryland. Uh, if you're a fan of really any classic doom metal band then you will definitely like this album. With that being said, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you will not miss any videos when I upload them. And let's jump right into this. To kick this off, we've got Iron Maiden, Killers. This was a cassette tape that my dad owned. Uh, he didn't want it anymore, so he asked me if I wanted it, and uh, I said, yeah. This is a, let's see, Capitol Records 1981 version. So this has the uh, bonus track, Twilight Zone, on side B. Uh, when I got this tape, it did not have the original J card insert. I don't know where it is, so I just made my own. And uh, from the pictures I've seen of what the actual J card looks like, I got it pretty close. And um, for 1981, this cassette tape still plays pretty well. I played it recently, and uh, I liked what I heard. Iron Maiden, Killers. Up next we have the Anots live at the Alternative Gallery. So, if you didn't know, this is the punk rock band that I play guitar in. We just played our first gig a few weeks ago, almost three I think, uh, July 17th, 2021. And during our first gig, I had the sound guy hit record on a blank cassette tape and uh, the cassette player that I brought. We got our set on tape. Um, the Alternative Gallery is like this art gallery in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Uh, someone that my dad knows rents out that art gallery on occasions and will have like local underground metal bands and punk bands play there. And um, we got ourselves a gig there and uh, for which we are very fortunate for. And um, yeah, the gig was very fun to play. Um, this cassette tape did not turn out the way I expected it to, and um, here's why. So, my cassette player, it can be powered through, you know, the power adapter that comes with it, or it can be powered on batteries. And me being the genius that I am, I did not think about that plugging into an outlet at a venue is not such a great idea and so you guessed it I had my cassette player plugged into an outlet at the venue while this tape was recording and um, it was also the same outlet that the soundboard was plugged into and uh, as a result of all that there's this annoying high-pitched screeching throughout the audio and the whole set and so once I got back home, I listened to this tape for the first time, and um, I was not too pleased, to say the very least, and uh, I just hope I can find a way to get the audio cleaned up. The tape's already been digitized, and now I just need to find some kind of method of uh, cleaning up the audio through some kind of audio editor. So, I just hope I can get the audio cleaned up and have it sound somewhat decent. But as I said, other than that, I had a lot of fun at this gig. The Anots live at the Alternative Gallery. While I was at that gig for uh, the Anots, I bought two cassette tapes. One of them is Chains of Belmont, Toxic Hangover, and the other one, I will talk about that later in the video. But uh. Chains of Belmont is a thrash metal band out of California. Um, you know, they sound like the typical like modern thrash metal band with uh, like some crossover thrash metal influence in it. And uh, I listened to this tape and it, it was pretty good. You know, um, I know a lot of modern thrash metal gets um, criticized for sounding repetitive, bland, you name it. But this band, it does not fall into that category, stereotype, whatever you want to call it. This band delivers amazing throat 
punching thrash metal straight out of California, straight out of America. Pure unfiltered metal right here. Chains of Belmont, Toxic Hangover. Before I dive too far into the next cassette, I'm gonna just show it right now. Creator, terrible certainty. And um, the backstory with this ties in with that cassette tape I just showed of Chains of Belmont. So as I said, the Chains of Belmont cassette tape is one of two tapes that I bought at the gig. And uh, the second tape is something I bought that when I bought it, I had a massive brain fart and forgot that I had the same album on CD. It's a, like a massive compilation full of all kinds of amazing heavy metal bands. And so after realizing that what I had bought, I technically already owned it just on a different format. I wanted to trade that cassette tape for you know something that I didn't own on any formats. And also I just wanted somebody else to be able to enjoy all those awesome metal bands that are on that compilation tape. So I messaged my friend Rosh from Climate Despair and I asked him if he wanted to do a tape trade. And he said, yeah. I showed him what I was willing to trade and he offered me this creator tape for the cassette tape that I bought at that gig. And uh, it's creator, how could I say no to that? My first creator album that I own on a physical format. Uh, this is a one of the cassette tapes that was put out under Noise Records, Noise International, whatever it's called. It's a, I think it's a subdivision of Combat Records, uh, 1987. And uh, what else should I say about this? It's amazing German thrash metal, you know. Uh, Creator. Creator, terrible certainty. Amazing album right here. That Creator tape was not the only thing that I got out of the trade. I got two more items out of it. I didn't know I was going to be getting two more additional items in the trade. One of them was Candlemass, Nightfall. The other is a CD that I will be featuring in a future video. Uh, Nightfall is hands down my favorite Candlemass album, at least as of right now. You know, it's got Messiah McCollin on vocals, and um, he's easily my favorite Candlemass vocalist. A trained opera singer singing for a doom metal band. How could you not like that? This cassette tape is one of the tapes put out by Metal Blade Records marketed by Restless Records. Uh, I believe this is from, yeah, it's from 1988. At least that's what the copyright says for uh, Metal Blade Records. Printed in Canada. But yeah, I was very excited to see this in the package when I opened it up. And uh, I'm very thankful for it, as well as the creator tape. And of course, Rosh, if you're watching this video, I've said it a hundred times and I'll say it a hundred more. Thank you so much for the stuff you sent me. I greatly appreciate it, man. This last tape that I'll be featuring in this video is something I made. It's a cassette tape that I recorded when I was at a heavy metal summer camp. For those who don't know, Rob Halford of Judas Priest has his own side band called Halford. And one of the guitar players from that side band, his name is uh, Metal Mike, or at least that's the alias he goes by. He has a metal summer camp for uh, you know kids my age who are into metal a lot, play instruments, and uh, just want to go to a heavy metal summer camp, make some metalhead friends, write some music. And um, this summer I went to that summer camp and we wrote some songs. So, Untitled Song 1, first thing right here. Um, I believe it's the first song that we started working on. It, it probably is, considering it's called Untitled Song 1, but I had Metal Mike hit record on the cassette tape player with a blank cassette loaded in it. And uh, I got that song on tape. And then the two tracks after that 
were taken from videos that uh, someone in the audience recorded. I took those videos and then converted it to the tape, so yeah. This was a very fun experience. I had a lot of fun at the summer camp and um, this is a very nice uh, reminder of the camp, for lack of better words. And uh, right here on the spine, I put a little sticker saying uh, Metal Mike's Metal Heroes Camp 2021. So that wraps it up for my cassette tape collection of August 2021. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.